I think it's so important that we feed our bodies whole foods. You know, I watched a show once where this girl was very debilitated with CFS, and every morning they brought her for breakfast a piece of toast and jelly. And I can tell you right now, you're not going to recover or get fabulous energy from toast and jelly in the mornings. That is not feeding your body. So hey warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from my kitchen. And I've been wanting to do this for a really long time because I've just been wanting to share some recipes that I use that have really helped me through recovery. So as if you've been following me, you know that I'm a real believer in healing body soul, which is mind, will, and emotions, and spirit. So anyway, for a few minutes, I wanted to show you something that really feeds and nurtures your body. This is a really highly nutritious shake, and I drink it several times a week. Uh, I do it for lunch because it's really easy to digest, and it gives me a lot of sustained energy. You can also do it for breakfast. The nice thing is that when you're bed bound especially, you want to have something that's easy to get to, but that's really going to feed your cells and really feed your body. Um, I know also uh, you might have a carer who's looking after you, and so they can uh, put this together really quickly and it's really going to serve you. So uh, anyway, it's just my almond shake, that my almond milkshake. You don't have to use almond milk. You can use any kind of plant-based milk, and I would recommend that because dairy products, uh, they tend to cause inflammation. And as you know, CFS is a neurological disease, and ME stands for for myalgic encephalomyelitis, which actually means brain inflammation. So something we want to do through our brain retraining and our meditation is calming down the nervous system, minimizing inflammation in the body, and foods are a great way to go. I love Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine, and I'm a real believer in that. So anyway, we're going to start off with my almond milk, which I love to make, and of course you don't have to make your own almond milk, and at this stage in recovery I can do it. When I was bed bound, there was no way I was going to be doing that. Uh, but you know, you can use a carton and you can either get uh, almond milk or coconut milk, comes even in a can, I would recommend organic. Oat milk, you know, they've got so many plant-based milks nowadays, so just find one that works for you. So anyway, I've already measured out, you're going to want to use a cup of almonds, almond milk. This is so fun, I feel like I'm doing a little cooking show. <laughs> Okay, so I got my almond milk, and now this is so easy. Okay, you're going to take three scoops of hemp hearts, and I'm going to post the recipe at the end, but hemp hearts are amazing. So out of with three tablespoons, you are getting a whopping 10 grams of protein, and I prefer this over protein powder because this is a plant-based uh, seed and it's more it's actually a nut and it, it has a mild nutty flavor it's very subtle it's full of amazing healthy fats for your body that is so good for you and it's uh, got it's full of vitamin E and magnesium and uh, anyway it's just a great thing and you know this has been used for centuries it's just becoming popular in the Western culture now but it's a superfood that's been used for many many centuries and so the next ingredient you're going to want to get is two scoops of collagen. And I'll show you what I use. I get this on Amazon. It's collagen. It's so good, as we know, for hair, skin, nails. But it's also good for digestion. And it's good for bones and joints. So collagen is a great additive. Now, one thing that I like to sweeten it with, you could use xylitol, which is a one-to-one -one for sugar. That is very low glycemic, so it's not going to shoot your blood sugar up and then drop it so that you crash. So, uh, but what I actually use is a supplement that I take a couple of times a day. It's D-ribose, and this is a mitochondria powerhouse. This is a supplement to support your mitochondria, and if you've done your research, you know that a lot of CFSers, most CFSers, are depleted in their mitochondria. It's basically mitochondria dysfunction, and those are the energy-producing parts of our cells. And so I take another supplement, like a daily supplement, that's a, a multivitamin that supports mitochondria function, but this also does. So it's not like a one thing, but it does support you. 
So I put that in because it is a sugar that our body produces, and so, but it's a natural sweetener. So there you go. And let's see what's next. Now we're gonna do the berries. Now you know berries are so full of antioxidants. They are so awesome for you. They're low in sugar. Again, they're low on the glycemic, so you're not gonna shoot your blood sugar up. It's gonna keep you stable. And that is so important, because that I found in my recovery a lot was the crash came when my blood sugar levels dropped. And that's why you know eating really helps, because you're, you're getting your blood sugar back up. Okay, so what I use, and you can use as many berries as works for you. I do, I've been doing like about a third of a cup of frozen berries, blueberries, blackberries. It's so easy, right? You just pull it out, rinse them off, and then I throw in a few strawberries with that. And so that is a great hit. They're anti-cancer. There are all kinds of wonderful things in your body. So get your berries in. And then the, the last thing we're gonna put in is chia seed. I adore chia. If you haven't gotten this into your diet, you need to do it, okay? Chia was uh, used by the Mayans, and chia means strength. And they loved it. You're gonna put one tablespoon in. They loved it for its ability to provide stable energy. Now we need that recovery, right? So go get you some black chia seed, put it in your smoothies, sprinkle it on your cereal. If you have that in the mornings, I actually make a delicious chia pudding that is so easy to make. It takes like a minute to make. And you put it in the fridge overnight and it's so good. And it's packed with protein. So chia has like in one tablespoon, it's got three grams of protein. So that's amazing for a little seed. You know, it's a very uh, nutritionally dense food. And again, ancient with the Mayans. So definitely check into your chia. Okay, so we're gonna look, look. I just gotta show this to you though. Let's see if you can see this. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Anyway, I like to eat food that's beautiful and that makes me happy. And chia seeds and strawberries and hemp hearts and my almond milk and dates and things like that, they all make me very happy. So let me set this up and we'll get it going. All right, so this is my little Ninja mixer. I also have a Vitamixer that is fabulous. I'll show you some recipes in that, and I usually do my shake in that because it actually grinds up the chia a lot better, but you can get ground chia as well. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Okay, now before I pull this apart and show it to you, um, isn't that beautiful? The color is so gorgeous. Uh, and we want colorful foods going into our body. You can also, now see how this works for you. Be a metabolic or a nutritionist detective. Find out what works for your body, because what works for me may not work for you. Um, but so you want to adjust it according to what's best for you. Uh, for instance, you can add an, a half of avocado into your shake, which is really nice. I, that tends to really help satiate me. I don't usually do this, so this is my basic recipe that I use all the time. And if I want to bump it up, I might add a half of avocado or I might put in um, coconut. Now you've got tons of fiber in this already with your hemp seed and your chia, so that's gonna actually help you stay full. But again, if you're finding that you get hungry after it, which I rarely do, but I might add just for fun too, because it makes it taste tropical, is the shredded coconut. Or throw in a hand, handful of spinach, and that's gonna give you more fiber and your green veggies. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. The thing I love about this is it's so easy to make, and again, when you're bed bound, it's something someone else can make for you easily. But for me, I'm enjoying my energy through the day, and I don't, I actually don't like to stop for lunch. So I like to have my lunch, I chill out. It's not like I don't sit down and have a little rest, but you know, I enjoy having something that's not gonna weigh me down and take 30 minutes to sit down and eat. So uh, this is nice, because I can sip on this while I'm doing things, so. There we are. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a beautiful shake. Tastes delicious. Again, adjust it for whatever works for you. If you want a little bit more sweet, you could put a little more berries in it. Or like I said, xylitol or the D-ribose. But this is fabulous. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'll try it out. 
Um, I might, I'm hoping to do some more recipes in the kitchen because I think it's so important that we feed our bodies whole foods. You know, I watched a show once where this girl was very debilitated with CFS and every morning they brought her for breakfast a piece of toast and jelly. And I can tell you right now, you're not going to recover or get fabulous energy from toast and jelly in the mornings. That is not feeding your body. So make sure you're getting adequate protein. Protein is so important. And even carbs. It's funny because I went for a really, I found early in my recovery that protein made a huge difference for me. And so I upped my intake. But what I kind of did at the same time was lowered my carb intake. And I didn't really realize I was doing that. Um, it wasn't really a keto diet, but it was pretty low on the carb scale. And so what I've done recently is I'm being a metabolic detective and really looking at what's working for my body. I started adding in sweet potatoes at night. And if you're having any issues with sleep, adding a little bit of carb in the evenings can really help along with your protein. So again, see what works for you, but it's amazing how much food can impact our body and our energy levels. All right, warriors, thank you for joining me. I hope you'll try out the shake. Let me know how it goes for you. And I also hope you'll join us over at CFS Warriors Academy. It is an amazing forum on Facebook. Great community of people, all like-minded, working for recovery. Um, I've just been so blessed with mentors and coaches throughout my journey to recovery. And so I invited them into the forum to share their models of healing because each one of these mentors has recovered from CFS. And so they're sharing their modality of healing. So you're going to learn about brain retraining, emotional body connection, and how to listen to our emotional brains, how to set boundaries, pacing, structure, sleep, nutrition, all kinds of good things in there. So I hope you'll join us. And remember, warriors, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. Mm -hmm.